Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Future Villains podcast. We are skipping a week of Future Heels because nothing happened. Yeah, not much. Paige came back. Uh, but the most exciting news was Sarah Logan's now on the main show. Right. That's really all I cared about. Sarah Logan, Ruby Riot are on the main roster and Paige is back. Right. And I'm slightly excited for Sonya Deville. Yeah. What about, and Mandy Rose, too. Yeah, she, uh, who was the other girl? I think it was Mandy Rose. No, uh, Liv Morgan's pretty good. Oh, is she back, too? Yeah. On the, okay. But we'll go for them. But the only thing I care about is Sarah Logan made it to the main show. Well, Sarah, Ruby, Paige are ready. For sure, yeah. Yeah. The other ones, I don't know. <laughs> oh, we'll see. We'll see. And that's it for the Future Heels podcast. <laughs> All right, now, moving on. Hey, that's really it for wrestling. Yeah, they did Starcade, which was cool. Did you ever did you see any of that stuff? No. Yeah. It's, right. <laughs> it's worth looking into. Okay. But uh, that's it. So, do, what, what do we want to talk about first? Universal or my computer situation? Uh, let's talk about your computer situation. Yeah, we'll start off with a dark note. Yeah. <laughs> so, as you guys may have no, known from the podcast, from my live streams, my videos... Hashtag fuck aces is a thing because their computers are just broken, terrible. So my computer finally died after not having it for but a few months. And I had to go out and lease a laptop, which is what we're on now. Um, I guess I'm happy I got a new toy. You know, we needed a new podcast computer, but yeah, I did not like this, man. Not like this. Not like this. <laughs> it's, it's nice. It's an Acer gaming laptop. And uh, it's what, what we're recording on. I had an Acer for years. And it was old when I got it. Yeah. I think it la- that I think that Acer lasted about 10 years. The only thing I ever had to do was put a new hard drive in it. Dang. And the only time... The only reason I don't still have it is because I was crippled one day. And I was trying to get up to go uh, across the house. And I slipped and I knocked it off my table. Oh, jeez. Yeah, my, my Asus just died. And uh, so what happened was it, it died, and I thought it was the power supply again. I ordered one from Amazon that should have been here before I started work on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Or I would have been just a bit late, because I work from home. Um, so I could have fixed it and got to work a little bit late. I would have been good. Well, Amazon said, oh, it'll be there by, like, next week. I was like, uh, that's not okay. Canceled. They said, oh, we can't. It's already in the mail. Ah. And I said, no, it's not. That's why it's not here, because you guys forgot to give it to USPS. They're right. like, well, no, then we still can't cancel it. <laughs> like, Thanks. So I got to ship that back to them tomorrow. In the meantime, I ran down to Best Buy on Black Friday. Oh. It took me 45 minutes to get a power supply. Jeez. There, I can believe it. So... That Best Buy that buy us in Ocala, you know how there's the registers on the right side of the store and then there's appliances right in front of it? Right. The line was all the way, like a Disney ride. Now they have it like zigzag. Oh, yeah. And then it was all the way against the wall of appliances, all the way almost back to whatever's back in the corner there, the Apple stuff. Oh, jeez. Yeah. It was crazy. <laughs> um, so, and also I got mocked because... I want to get a, a Nintendo Switch. Yeah. They were just everywhere. Just on the floor, just sitting around. Oh. And it was, oh, my God. I was like, I, I want one so bad. And they were surrounding you and you just couldn't get yeah, one. Yeah, pretty much. How much are they? Or were they? Uh, they're like 300 something. Were they on sale for Black Friday? No idea. I wasn't going to look. <laughs> I didn't want to look. So you don't want me to tell you they were like 180 bucks? Oh, well, they're not that. They were at least 300 Because the bundles are quite a bit. Like... Closer to 400. Right. Um, and then while I was standing in line, I got punched by a Best Buy employee. Really? <laughs> yeah, just... And, and and just to preface, I'm a bigger guy. We're bigger guys. Yeah. This bigger, short, bigger girl comes, like, barreling past everyone doing this. Just stereotypical flailing, flailing arms fat person, flailing her arms at the side, and just nailed me right on the side. Oh. And was like, oh, I'm sorry, I just kept going. I'm just like, what? Oh, well, speaking of getting attacked by employees, 
my, uh, we're having lunch at uh, Cody's Roadhouse today. Yeah. And uh, our waiter was like the clumsiest waiter. And it's it's packed in pretty tight over there. And uh, <clears throat> the waiter reached over to the table beside us to get us like a ketchup or something. I don't know what he was grabbing. I forget. But he, he kicked the chair next to me and oh, just right into my knee. Like right, like right on that nerve. Like, right. I was like, oh man. <laughs> Jeez. Right, so we were both attacked by employees. Yeah, sounds like it. Again. From uh, Best Buy and Cody's. Yeah. Which I think we only have Cody's around here. Right? I think there's like an Ocala and... It's a chain. I don't know how far it goes though. I don't think it goes very far, but it's like it's Central Florida at the very least. Uh, I think. <clears throat> Let me look it up. I hope I it's all over the place. It's great. It it was, actually it was okay. Yeah, I wasn't. Im, I wasn't overly impressed. It was all right. I mean, it was good. I'm not gonna. We had we had steak, and I was like, yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go to Cody's for my steak. But, you know, it was it was good. I mean, right. It was all right. I'm not gonna complain. So I got through the line at oh, and before I even got into Best Buy, nearly ran somebody over. Because I was turning left to go park. Yeah. I looked at the people coming out. Nothing. Looked to my left. Nothing. Looked mm-hmm. to my right again. Nothing. Went to go turn my head and starting to turn. Dude runs yeah. out in front of me. Oh, of course. It was Black Friday. <laughs> it, well, why? Okay, let's talk about... No, let me finish my story. Yeah, finish your story. Then we'll talk about it. So I get the part and I get home, put it in. Doesn't work. Still doesn't boot up. I literally... Removed everything from that computer, reinstalled the motherboard, reseated the RAM into both slots, reseated the video card, did everything I possibly could, and it didn't work. So it was too late, but the next day I call Aaron's mm-hmm. and they say, uh, I'm like, hey, there's a laptop on your website for 150 a month um, at $7 down because it's Black Friday. Do you have that in store? And they said, yeah. But we're not going to honor the online price. It's going to be like 211 and it's going to be like 170 today or something like that. Huh. And I was like, oh, wow, okay, I can't really do that. But if, because I've been in sales before, right. I know how important getting a sale like that is. Mm-hmm. I told the girl, tell your manager I am a guaranteed buy. I will come down there right now if you do the $7 down and you honor the 150 price online. She put me on hold for must have been half a second and got back on the phone and was telling me her manager said no. I could hear her manager in the background being real snippy and I just hung Jeez. up. Yeah. I was like, you are a shit salesperson. Yep. That is, God, that's such bad customer service. I was so mad. And then I had the opposite experience calling buddies. <laughs> <laughs> so buddies had a, a similar computer. Uh, the big thing with this one is it doesn't have a solid state drive. Which was so nice on my desktop because those things boot up so fast. Oh, really? Like okay. Instant. That'd um, be nice. Yeah, it, I, it, I never even consider that when. It's incredible. Okay. And they're they're cheaper than ever now. I'd imagine. Um, and they'll get cheaper too. Which yeah. Is cool. So I call buddies and I say, "Hey, here's what I need." And he said, "I have a used one. It's two years old. It's similar to what you want." And I was like, "Yeah, but I don't want a used one." Right. So well, we don't have one. Let me check other stores. And then he came back and said, okay, I have one in Brooksville. If you want, I'll go get it for you and bring it back. Oh, that's awesome. I was awesome. like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> Excuse me, what? <laughs> Excuse me, what? <laughs> um, and he's like, yeah, and uh, I'll do it for this price. Blah, blah, blah. Walk me through everything. Um, and I was like, yeah, that sounds great. And he's like, all right, uh, I got to wait for one of my employees to show up. And I'll give you a call when I get it back around noon. 12 quarter after 12 rolls around he calls me and he's like hey i'm I'm here it's here come on down so i went down and bought it nice very cool and and he wasn't there when i went and bought it but the other guys that were there were just so friendly it was just buddies yeah buddies i don't think i've ever been there yeah buddies buy right something like that i try to well they have furniture right yes uh maybe i should go in there no no they have the chair you want Oh, uh, what chair? Your massage chair. Oh, how much was it? Did you look? <laughs> Didn't look. Uh, I want a massage chair so bad. I think it was a massage chair at least. 
I'm get. I am getting one. Like yeah. I've decided. Like that is what is happening. I need a recliner for work. Yeah. Because at work the other day, everyone was like talking about the chairs they use. Like I said, I work from home, and I bought a racing gaming chair. Right. Because they're comfortable. Which seems like yeah, that'd be, that's a great idea. Apparently, I'm the odd man out. Everyone has a fucking recliner. <laughs> <laughs> they're like I'm doing this wrong. Yeah, I mean, you could be like uh, JP and Grandma's boy. Oh, who, what? Which one was that? The guy that talks like a robot. Okay, that's what I was thinking, yeah. And the guy goes into his office and he's got, it's like a, it's like the racing gaming chair, but it's like reclined and he's like surrounded yes. by screens and just... I have a video to show you later. Um, <laughs> Unbox Therapy just put up a video with one of those. Oh, yeah. It looks incredible. <laughs> I want one for my workstation. Oh, man. Uh, so Black Friday, is that a thing you do? You I usually this get, year, didn't you? I get pulled into it, but I yeah. never, one, I never have money. Never, ever fails. I'm always broke as hell. It is the weekend I am the most broke in my life. You should have gone to Universal on Friday. Yeah, there probably would have been no one there. Uh, why <laughs> didn't we go? We went Black Friday shopping. No, it was raining. It was oh, raining it was. Friday, yes, so we it didn't was. go. Because um, we, we were. We were going to go. Because we were like, oh, Black Friday. and we're, We didn't go anywhere Friday. Or my fiance did. I didn't go anywhere. Do the Universal stores do Black Friday, I wonder? I don't know. They did have Black Friday sales on single day tickets. Because huh. we were going to wait to see if they were going to do anything for passes. Because mm-hmm. we just got... Uh, my fiance got our, our whole family... Um, Universal annual passes for Christmas, early Christmas present. <clears throat> and we were going to go Friday, but it was raining. So we decided to push it back to Saturday, which was great. Because um, then I got, I got to do something pretty cool on Friday. That shouldn't be, shouldn't have been a special event, but it seemed that it was. What did you do? Lance came over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so elusive that That's it's right. like an event. And, um... Which, I'll talk about that later, because that was interesting. Lance coming over? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll get to it. Um, and then, yeah, Friday we went to Universal. What was yeah. the point of the conversation? Oh, oh Black, Black Friday. Friday. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I didn't, I don't think I, yeah, I left the house to go get them. I don't think I went shopping anywhere. Right. But we didn't, we went Thursday. Because our plan was, because I did Thursday... I did Thanksgiving early with my family, or I thought I did, um, the week before. And then, of course, Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, I get messages, hey, are you coming to the the parents' house? I'm like, no, we, we did Thanksgiving yeah. last week. That was a whole thing. Jeez. And everyone's like, oh, fine, yeah, all right, whatever. I don't well, know. You did if it they, here, right? No, we, did, we went over there. Oh, I thought Jess was posting pictures of, like, you guys made a turkey. Yeah, we did here for Thanksgiving. Yeah. The week before Thanksgiving, we went to my parents' house. Yeah. And my sister wasn't here because she wasn't free. Oh, Friday they did huh? pa- dinner at the parents'. What day did they do dinner at the parents'? I, I did Thurs. I yeah. did the Thursday before Thanksgiving over there. That was the, They made turkey, and we went over there after work, and we spent some time there. And then um, I go, and our plan was... We're going to do a little Thanksgiving here, since I thought that was it. Yeah. We do a little Thanksgiving here, and then just do whatever we want. Like, it's not a big deal. Just, you know, make some food, eat, and go shopping or do whatever. Yeah. But then the thir- <laughs> that Wednesday, right before Thanksgiving, I get a couple messages. Hey, are okay. you guys going to the parents' house? It's like That's the part I missed, was when okay. you got the messages. Yeah, it's like, uh, no, we were there last week. Yeah. So... I don't know. I was like, well, I was, I, we were going to have uh, some people here, but it turns out they didn't show up. And Yeah, I was um, going to come by, but uh, yeah, I ended up going to my dad's, and like I never get to see my dad and my siblings. Yeah. And I had like my aunt on my mom's side messaging me like, hey, you coming over here? And I was like, yeah, on my way, leaving soon. Yeah. And it just kept getting later and later and later. My little sister came out, and she's like, you want to play Mario Kart? And I was like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> So we played Mario Kart for quite a while, and then they were like, let's play Smash Brothers. And I was like, yes, let's play Smash Brothers. Yeah. And then my siblings ended up turning on me. 
Dude, Smash... Hey, you've played Smash Brothers, right? Yeah, a little bit. God, that is such a fun game. I need a Switch just so we can play Smash Brothers and Mario Kart and everything. I like Mario Kart better than Smash Brothers. Mario but... Kart, Riley could play. Because yeah. there's like a easy guided mode. Oh, it's really? It's like bowling with the rails on. Oh, that's cool. I didn't like know Like, you could actually not even... I think you can just leave the controller alone. And it would just kind of go. Because there's people, like, their cats are playing Mario Kart. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> Uh, well, that's cool. God, it's such a good game. Um, well, that's cool. I like that. But yeah, so we did, like, we went Black Friday shopping, because mm-hmm. that was kind of what we were going to do anyway. Um, so we go to Walmart. You went, did you go Thursday night? Yes, yeah, so it was Thursday okay. night. Walmart started at 6. And yeah. we were in line, all we were there for was my fiance just wanted one of the OtterBox cases. Okay, I was gonna ask you why she wanted a case so bad. Yeah, it was like it was like their sixty dollar case. It was down yeah. to twenty bucks. Oh. I was like, all right, cool, yeah. I mean, I get it. Save forty dollars on a phone case, sure. Yeah. Um. So we're waiting by it. To, you know, we saw it under the tarp, and we're like, okay, we will wait here. Um. And like it was like five fifty five ish, and uh, down the aisle we see them starting to take the tarps off and the lady guarding our area and the police patrolling walmart by the way holy shit yeah really? yeah there was like I cop cars I, I will say i don't blame them no me either but it's ridiculous that this has to happen like yeah. cop cars lined out out front of walmart sure and like five and like the lady guarding our area is like i don't know what they're doing we cannot move these until six o'clock and the lady across that the, happened a couple years ago when we went. Yeah, the the lady across the uh, the aisle, she's just like I don't know, and then everyone started take like the customers started taking the top the tarps off and grabbing stuff. Right. And our guard our item guard lady looks to the who appears to be a manager, Sorry, could you repeat that? and she's just like I don't know, let them do it. <laughs> and when I saw people kind of starting to move that way right before that happened, I took, like, I we, I had my daughter in the cart, and I was just like, come on back here. <laughs> and we just stood, we stood in the frozen food aisle, because right across from where everyone was waiting. And I just told her, I was like, look, you know, we're just going to watch all these kids be really, really dumb right now. And sure enough, they started taking the tarps off. Everyone's grabbing and fighting for stuff. And... Like, I noticed, everyone's fighting over, like, the $4 phone chargers, sure. but, like, the hundred-something dollar TVs that were, seemed to be a pretty good deal. You know, everyone's in line, they get theirs, move along. Yeah. But all the fighting is over, like, yeah, the $4 phone chargers. Which you can find online all year round. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, like, I wouldn't buy one at Walmart, if, unless I absolutely need it. You go on Amazon, you get it for, like, three bucks. When we went two years or more ago, I don't remember what we were getting. But there was like a a bin of the stuff we were getting. I think it was a bin. You had to reach into it. Yeah. And there was a lady on a wheelchair parked right up against it. And people were reaching over her and pushing into her. Just to get whatever. I think it was washcloths or towels. It was something along those lines. And they. Excuse me. They just were pushing into her and like. Yeah. like It's crazy. The one one of the other years I went and I, now I like I said I never go to buy anything I'm always there with someone sure. who's buying something like I saw people ripping the display apart that had movies I in it. it it was the first year like Blu Ray Blu Rays really went on sale sure for like five bucks you can get Blu Rays this is when all Blu Rays were like thirty interesting thing about that so this will be a prequel to my Best Buy story. Uh. <laughs> The when I left my dad, dad's was eleven thirty, um, and I was telling you there was a pool of water on my passenger side right, of my yeah. jeep, so I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> and I, I was like, "I gotta go to Walmart." And get but a it towel. was from the rain, right? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. It wasn't from something leaking in the. God, no, that is terrifying. <laughs> oh, because you said seat, right? Yeah, uh, well, on the on the bottom, on the on the floor. floorboard. Okay, because I I know someone whose car will leak and they're. And they don't know what it's from. Jeez. So, uh, I leave my dad's at 11.30. I see that. I'm like, all right, I'm going to go to Walmart and buy a cheap towel. Because I don't want to use any of my good towels. I need I need some food anyway. Some groceries. Right. So, like, I will get a towel and I get groceries. And I get there. And it 
it was pretty much a normal night. And uh, I parked, and I go in there, and it's like a war zone. Yeah. There's just crying Walmart employees. Oh, God. <laughs> they did look broken, though. I will honestly say all those employees, when I was walking around, just looked like they had seen some shit. And what time was it? 11, 11.30 midnight. I'm sure by about that time, yeah. There was we were so there. much stuff, though, everywhere. Yeah, I was I was in there earlier today. I grabbed some Black Friday stuff, and it's Sunday now. Yeah. I got a couple t-shirts for, like, I, half I the price. I got this and... long sleeve shirt I'm wearing. I got a, a nice pack of socks. I got sweats. I got pajamas for Kim. I got, uh, I got a bunch of stuff. I got Tupperware. And the thing about the movies was when I went to go get lunch meat, they had all the movies yeah, over there. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, a lot of them were, like, ripped apart. Oh, yeah, they tear them up. Because they had, like, bundles, like they always do. And Mm -hmm. I was, like, kind of... There was one with Mad Max, a Blu-ray. Right. And some other movies I'd never really heard of. But there was, like, ripped up. And I was, like, are there movies missing? Is there something missing? Like, I don't know if I want to buy this. Right. I almost got you guys Game of Thrones one of the seasons, but I didn't really know if you'd want that. If the special features are cool. That's that's the only reason I would have bought it. Mm Mm-hmm. But I also didn't know if maybe you had them or whatever. But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And like as I was checking out, I told the guy at the self checkout, I'm like, I came here for a towel and turkey. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, you got a lot more. And I was like, yeah, yeah. What the hell? And then, so Thursday night, I had ordered a a heated blanket for Kim because she'd been wanting one on Amazon. Right. And I guess I didn't order it quick enough, and it sold out. Uh, so when I was at Walmart that night, I saw them for 20 bucks. didn't get it though. And the next day, uh, I ran to Walmart cause I was like, today's going to be perfect. I'm going to go to Walmart. I'm going to get my heated blanket. Oh no, that, I got the, the long sleeve shirt that day. I should have got them the night before. I realized that I went back to Walmart the next day. Mm-hmm. You know, there are too many people at Walmart when the field next to Walmart is parking now. Right. Yeah. <laughs> And which one were you at? Uh, the Lacanto one. Okay, yeah. That's fucking crazy. Yep. Yeah, we didn't... Ha- it was great because we didn't really have a hard time parking at all. I got a great parking spot. <laughs> I love when that happens. Yes. Yeah. Because we got there... We got there about 5.30. And, like, we knew it started at 6. And we were meeting one of, one of my fiance's friends. And we were gonna... Like, I had some other stuff I wanted to get. But, like, they had it, like, roped off. I don't know if it was this way when you were there. Probably no. not. But... Play, like, certain parts of the store were roped off. Like, you couldn't go there. Jeez. Like, a lot of the, like, the frozen Best Buy food... used appliances. Oh, that's, that's funny. <laughs> um, but, yeah, like, there was, like, a lot of, like... And because they were directing people through... Like, you couldn't just walk up to the front of the store and go to the cash registers. You had to go, like, past the apparel and then down those aisles and go through the apparel to get there. Wow. Because they had balloons set up. To let you know that the lines yes. start here. Right. Um, Those were still up when I went there. Okay, yeah, but they had it blocked off. Because, like, we ended up not getting anything. And her friend went and she bought, like, some other stuff. Not even Black Friday stuff. But, like, we had to separate, like, halfway through the store. Um, yeah, it was, it was ridiculous. Yeah, I don't get it. Just, I guess it's just like, dumb. I have Amazon Prime. Yeah. So I get good deals all year round. Right. Like, I just got a, a quick charge USB 3.0 quick charger on Amazon. Yeah. A car charger for 10 bucks. Yeah. I guess it's not going to get any cheaper than that. Probably not. I, I just, I don't know. I guess I don't understand the mentality of Black Friday. I don't think I ever will. I really don't. And, like, it doesn't matter. My brothers are getting an Xbox One. Don't tell them, anyone listening. And, brothers, I hope you're not listening because... Wait, do they listen? Boy, I don't know. I know they don't. They can't. How old are they? They are. I'm sorry, eighteen. Oh god, I shouldn't ask. <laughs> they're like thirteen. Oh, they might listen. No, I don't think they do. I've told them they're not allowed to. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> I cuss too much. Oh, okay, yeah. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. I've... Man, I don't know. So. You want to go through another Matthew that out? and Thomas? I swear, to Christ, if you're listening. You better not tell anyone. You better I told not tell you. anybody. Anyways, so my stepmom ordered. They had an Xbox One with games um, for like two, two hundred maybe. If you go to the store, or like two nineteen or two twenty nine, if uh, if you order it online. Right. And my dad was like, "No, go to the store and get it." 
So my mom's like, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> she just ordered it online. Yeah. Like we I were, would. We were thinking about getting the one uh, Xbox One S. That's what they got. And it was like, it was 189 in the store. Uh, 189 online at GameStop. Mm-hmm. But then a, uh, how much better is that than the original Xbox One? Can you find the original? I don't know that they really sell them. Well, because I saw used original Xbox Ones for like they're one forty nine, normal price. I mean, I don't think there's really much of a difference other than they're smaller. Yeah, I looked up the specs, and I think like one thing was better. Oh, they have a built that that power block is it's built, built into in. it. Yes. Other than that, and it's smaller. And it's smaller. I think that was it. Yeah, the Xbox One X. Is the only big upgrade because it's 4K Ultra HD. Oh, and all okay. That stuff. Yeah, we don't need that. No. Although, we're thinking about getting a bigger TV. Like a 4K TV, you're probably not though, because those are way more money. Are they really? Yeah. Because we're thinking about getting like there's bigger TVs and then there's 4K TVs. <laughs> right. We're thinking about getting like, like a big fucking TV. You guys have been talking about that forever. Well, because we had money then. Tax time's coming back. That fair enough. Tax time's coming back. We just moved into the house. Both of our cars are in pretty good shape. You know, we both For bought now. cars. Yeah. <laughs> There's some stuff I want to get done to my car. Like, I want to finally get a new set of tires. Yeah. Uh, I want to get those new brakes fixed, which is oh, stupid. Yeah. I got brand new brakes, and they squeal like crazy. And they're like, oh, yeah, it's supposed to. They don't have asbestos. I need to go get some <laughs> asbestos brakes, I guess. Um, yeah, like, little things. Like, we don't have, like, things that, oh, my God, we need to do. So, massage share. Yeah, you Big fucking TV. Chair. Jess wants a TV. Fiance wants a TV. I want a massage chair. Uh, kid, kids getting everything. Yeah. Kid could ever dream of for Christmas. So. And then we, as a podcast, are getting the old TV. <laughs> yeah, we are actually. It's probably going. I, I don't know if I want to put it in the garage. Where else would you put it? I don't know. Your bedroom. My bedroom. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. not going in there. No. Yeah. No. You know, no. <laughs> It's weird to everyone that I said theirs, but they don't. They, <laughs> the situation is kind of weird. Oh but, yeah. yeah, well, the kid likes to sleep with the mom. Yeah, <laughs> and it's, it's what they do. It's fine for now. You do, you do what you got to do. Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't. I. I mean, I. I guess I'd put it in my room or the garage. Yeah, and if you don't sleep with a TV at night, and you probably wouldn't use it at night. I guess. But the, the only... massage. But the massage chair is going to my room. So yeah, so then you might so yeah. there and yeah, I'll bring, yeah. I'll bring, I'll put the, I think this one's a fifty-five inch TV. Really, we just need to spend like fifty bucks each and get like a little twenty inch for the garage, for when we do finally make the podcast set. Yeah, because that's really all you need. Really, what we need is a portable AC unit for the garage. That too. That's the first thing, because we can get by not having a TV out there. Definitely. That's well. That's more for the set. All right. Well, maybe maybe tax time I can get because I'd like to spend. You more can time get portable out there. ACs for like less than two hundred bucks. I'll have to look into it. I'll look up. I have. I think. I think fiance has Prime. So, and yeah. you have Prime. So. Yeah. I don't. Cause everyone else does. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah, but, I need to start looking into that. Yeah. You know, now would be a good time to get one too. Yes, it would. I, mean, I don't have money right now. I mean, I will. Soon, actually. Yeah, we need to build... We need to start getting... To build a set. This yeah. new laptop has a pretty nice webcam. So we can start streaming video. We only did the one episode that way. Yeah. We could have done this episode that way. Yeah, kind of, yeah. But the... Um, yeah, and the... I like to work in the garage. Like, I've got a... Like, a little workshop set up out there. And I like yeah. being out there. But even when it's nice out, it's hot as hell out there. Sure. Although we did spend a lot of time in there Friday. Yeah. And it was pleasant. We just need to get it clean. And so yeah, so you had Lance over Friday. Yeah. Which and you, all the listeners, will get to meet one day. Yeah. Actually, well, I, I told him that we were about to do the podcast, and he said he wished he wasn't closing tonight. But he always yeah. closes Sundays, I guess. We I offered to do the podcast that one day, and he said, hard no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's got to be wasn't up to it. It's got it's got to be LARP related. That's fine. And that's that's what Friday was about. Yeah. So for you who don't know, LARPing, live action role playing. Although I'm sure if you're listening to this, you know what it is. Nerd. 
<laughs> says the the gamer who has a gaming YouTube channel. Okay. And we do podcasts on pro wrestling. So, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it's a nerdy thing. I'm just thing kidding. For, I learned too. Nerdy things for nerds to do. <laughs> that's, what I, it, that's what it is, too. Like, even some yeah. like hardcore, like, nerdy-ass nerds will be like, nah, I'm good. And, and this is something I think we'll just talk about with Lance whenever he's on the whole... The, the people that are too into it. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't even say he's too into it. No, He just no. really enjoys it. It's when it's, like, taken too seriously. Now, see... No. Okay, well, see, for you those... know me, I want to be in character and do all the politicking and, like, it's, I don't want to name names. It's the people that we were interacting with before, where we were all having fun and they were miserable because we were having too much fun. Right, and apparently that kind of stuff happens, because uh, I guess it's still kind of happening right now. Sure. On a different level, and you just got to be like, fucking deal with it. Yeah. So, for those who don't know, oh, well, it's a live-action role-playing, and I hate, and I don't, actually, I don't hate it, but the game we play, the there are certain people who play it, although it is a game, they don't like it referred to as LARPing. Some people don't even like it to be referred to as a game. What do they prefer to call it? Because on m- most levels, it's sport. Sure, that's a game. Right, sports are still games. Yeah. But I wish Brooks was here for that. That'd be an interesting <laughs> little topic. But Brooks has seen this, and and he's like, do work, son. You can't just go out and LARP. You have to have some practice, some... Well, then that's one of the other things, too, because there are LARPs where, like, because there's all different types. Correction, you cannot go out and just fight. You can LARP. Right, LARPing, anyone can LARP. Right, but the game that we play, our game of choice is called Dagger Here, and Dagger Here is very, very physical. Sure. And now, I, and that's why I say, not anyone can do that. Right. And I mean, anyone can really go out and fight, but are you going to be able to fight and help? Sure. Are you going to be able to fight and be good? No. No. Oh, I thought you were asking me. Sorry. Oh, no. no. <laughs> You have you do have to practice fighting. Yeah. You have to. There's no way to go out and be good. Because people take it seriously. And they take it they practice it like it's a sport. Yeah. Weekly practices, bi weekly practices. And I only encountered it a little bit. Like when I went to that I guess it wasn't an event. No, you went to a, a what's considered a realm practice. Okay, that was fun. It was it's a lot See, of fun. Everyone there I mean, no one I can really think of, no one took it seriously, in my opinion. Right. But the funny thing is, is the people you met yeah. that day, I would say nine out of ten of them, because they were a little more than ten, nine out of ten of them were the most serious you'll ever meet. But they were having fun. Right. But it's, it's and, fun. But, and the fact that I was, uh, I'm, I'm just an archer, and I was just shooting people talking shit. Right. They didn't say anything to me. Yeah. And that's like, because I have read stuff online about, like, if you're an archer, be quiet and do this, do that. And I'm like, screw you. Yeah, that's the other thing, too. Like, right now, we've, in in all aspects of my life, I've just given the fuck up on what people think. Yeah, absolutely. So I just do whatever I want now. But which is for me. Very liberating, by the way. You know how I talk shit. Yeah. Especially in those settings. Especially that one big event we did, and the other guys were losing. And I just kept cutting promos on them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but, um, I see, I worry because of how into it you and Lance and Charles and Dave and everybody was, and my mouth was going to get you guys into trouble when I'm not there. Kind of like how it works with your relationship. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very true. But, um, and I hate that. I hate that, like, I can't, I don't know. Well, be an asshole. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, okay, let's, I lost track. It's only jest. So the game, the game we play, uh, DAG for short, um, very, very physical. Uh, a lot of people that play, uh, the people who play and treat it like solely as sport mm-hmm. and not really as a game, 
They're they're called stick jocks. Right. The guys who are there show up Charles? and fight. Sort of. The people who don't... Basically, you have to have medieval-style garb. You have to have some sort of costume to, for them to even let you into the event. It's I for immersion. I find that silly. We should it's, be able to at least spectate and stuff. It's immersion. Yeah. People pay to go to a different universe, basically. So, people are paying to go. Yeah, I guess if people are paying to go. And they're, I mean, they're, they don't pay much. It's like $20, $25. But for $25, you don't... You want to see as little, you know, Nike athletic wear... Sure. ...as possible. So, you do have to have some sort of costume. And you have to have uh, safe weapons, which are... Yes. ...fairly difficult to build correctly... Yes, I mean, absolutely. Anyone can do it with enough practice. and I mean, I was around you guys when you were hardcore building stuff, yeah. and you were doing it wrong. <laughs> right, yeah. And it's, it's hard to do if you don't have anyone to learn from. So yeah. luckily, a lot of the guys we met, they were super helpful. They donated power tools, material. Yeah, like I have a belt sander out there that was given to us from a, a leader or co-leader of another unit. Mm-hmm. But basically, DAG is broken, is an, it actually, I think it's international, but mainly a national game. And each area of the country is broken down, and it breaks down, it, it breaks all the way down to small units of people. Right. So. Local county people, basically. Right. Like, we have a unit, I started a unit, and uh, our unit finally became part of a realm. And the. It took us a long time, because we tried for, like, ten years, off and on, to try to get this thing going. And for some reason or any other, you know, it didn't work. Uh, but we finally got in contact with other people who were playing, yeah. which is the Realm. And then the Realm is part of the chapter, and then it just keeps going up. Sure. Um, <clears throat> but I created a unit. Um... Uh, Actually, it was probably about two years ago now, maybe. Yeah. Maybe even a li- maybe even three. Um, but, and it was it was a great idea. We had great ideas. We had, but we had. We had great fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we fought. We had weekly practices. I had, uh, you know, recruit packets, e- everything. Like, when we showed up to the realm for the very first time to introduce ourselves to the people who've been running games and, you know, being in charge for years and fighting for years, uh, they were just blown away. Like, we showed up... Yeah, because we were, like, battle-ready. Right. Like, we were... We fought pretty well. We we definitely were not the best fighters at the time. Were our weapons shit at that point? Uh, our weapons were passable. Because we had... We did get a little help. But, at this point, they were passable. Um... We had some things that weren't, some things we need to work on, um, but we showed up, uh, Lance showed up in full garb costume, and it got him picked first. Apparently that's a thing, if your costume is great. Uh, he was telling me at the last event he went to, I guess there's raffles, and he got a extra free raffle ticket just because they <laughs> liked his, and his then, uh, garb. Um, Charles is in full garb, isn't he? As well as Wes. Wes has the big cow thing. Right. Well, apparently, a lot has changed since you've been there. Okay. Is it? Yeah, a lot. Okay. Has changed. Like their characters? Uh, Lance is still the same character. Okay. But um, Wes only really builds, I guess. Oh, okay. Um, I think Charles is about the same. I mean, everyone's gotten newer, better weapons. Newer, better everything. Like, everything's been upgraded. Um, you know, Lyra doesn't fight anymore. She's not part of it. Um, there's some people who've left, some people who, we have, uh, one of the Wolf Thorn Knights. He's part of the group now, like, Ooh. full time. Uh, he, not, not, none of the brothers. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, the one guy who worked with the leader, his name is Tim. Did I not meet him? Probably you... not. May have seen him around. I think okay. he had an axe at one point. Yeah, I don't was, remember. That was the thing that I know about him the most. He had like this giant axe, and um, he didn't have two giant scimitars. No, no. <laughs> not that idiot. 
But, so we built this unit, and it was great. We had a lot of fun. And then, I had a, I found a hernia one day, and I was like, oh great, this sucks. Um, so I, but I kept fighting, and it got worse. It got pretty bad. And I was like, all right, I have to stop. Or, right. you know, it's going to end up rupturing, because it's full, 100% full contact. Um, you know, the sword, the... The, they're fake foam swords, and they're kind of blocky looking. But they are swung at 110% oh, yeah. force. There's nothing held back. It's not that, light touch. That's one thing I'll say about being an archer. Everybody yeah. loves to hit me as hard as they can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, because people hate archers, too. Yeah. So, I'm like, I, I'm, I can't I can't fight. So, I, I kept going to practices, because I was, I was the leader, but... Uh, this Lance character we speak of, he was second in charge, if not like, you know, like one and a half, or maybe even right. first in charge, really, realistically. But, you know, I was really the leader because I found it originally forever ago. You know, you I, guys were in character, the two leaders at the very least. Right, yeah. Like, I Cannon. was. <laughs> I was the, the king's son, I was the prince, and he was the, like, first general. Right. Like, and like character wise, character relation wise, like, like yeah, basically equals. Um, I was then, a wizard. Yeah, it I was be, basically gonna be like a Loki kind of wizard character, just cause shit and. <laughs> because at the time we were playing two different games, and yeah. one of the games allowed magic, but this one right, oh, that's right. The only magic in this game is healing. Oh, I didn't sorta. know there was healing. There is, but I. I from what I hear, no one does it. Okay. But that's that's one of the other things. When I quit, it was right before our first real DAG event. So all I knew from DAG is from what I've heard of stories and seen online. So I thought it was fighting during the day, drinking and partying at night, because it's all campouts. And I was like, well, I don't drink or party at all, and I can't fight anymore. So... You know, I, let go. I've got to I've got to step down, and I stopped going to practices because all I wanted to do was fight. I'd still pick up a sword and like start tapping people with yeah. it and wanting to fight. And I stopped having to go to practices because of work. Yeah, and I was like, ah, oh, you know, I'm gonna get, I'm just gonna get hurt. I'm gonna show up here one day. I'm gonna get too into it. I'm gonna get hurt. So I'm like, and I'm gonna get hurt just because of me. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, all right, I've got to, I've got to do something. So, you know, I told I told Lance, you know, you're you're in charge. I've got to, you know, I can't do it. So I think it was, I think it was the first camp out. It may have been their second, but I think it was the first. Um, he comes back and basically he really didn't want, it seemed like he really didn't want to say anything, but he's like, well, we did something. I'm like, okay, well, what'd you do? He's like, well, we kind of merged with another unit and now it kind of got absorbed right it it was sort of it seems like an absorption if you like from the outside yeah but basically they they've they combined the two units and like i could tell lance really didn't want to do it like not that he didn't want to do it he would want to tell me. Yeah. Because I should also uh, throw in that me and Lance have been friends since middle school. We've been friends for like 20 years. So he was really like, ah, just, uh, we kind of did this. <laughs> right. So the thing we created, it's not that anymore. And I was like, well, you know, yeah. you gotta, you gotta move on. You know, I'm not. And the people that they joined are people that have Helped that unit so much. Oh yeah, they helped us. They were helping us. They saved my life. They did save your life. <laughs> Literally saved your life. Yes. One day. Almost had like a, I don't know what did I have? I just got dehydrated or yeah. a stroke or something and blacked out. Yeah. And John was there saying, "Hey, hey, hey. you know, yeah. uh, what were we called? The Raven? We were Shadow Spar. Shadow Spar. That's what it was." Shadow Spar guys! Yeah, your guys. I remember dying. hearing that. Yeah. Your guys dying. That's, That's right. what they said. Yeah, I was. I blacked out because I wasn't drinking enough water or something. Ever since that day, I drink water all the time when I'm out doing stuff like that. Yeah. 
As a matter of fact, I think every time after that, everybody was like, you got water? You got water? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yes! It's, it's a thing. And, I mean, everyone else seems to make sure to drink water, too. But. Oh, yeah. It was very hot that day. We were running around. I am not used to running around. <laughs> but it, and it, is a, it was a reminder, too, for everyone, you know, stay yeah. hydrated. I'm glad I could be that sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, they, so basically, they became... Because, from what I can tell, and now, if you guys are listening, I'm going to tell you I'm doing this... So you can listen. So I might be wrong. And if I'm wrong, come on next time and correct me. But... We um, need to get some of the the LARP guys on for sure. So it seems that um, they had their name or something like it. um, And they liked a lot of our ideas because we put a hell of a lot of work into it. A hell of a lot of organization. But the thing is, is with Shadow Spar, it was created to be like... 20, 30, 50 people. We had four. Yeah. <laughs> we had more than that. I think at our highest number, we were up to like... Like people who even said they were going to come around. Yeah, like six or seven people. Oh, we had like... Yeah. I think we had more than a dozen at one point. Like, not not too super serious, but we had like the core group. Yeah. I would say around I guess that's what eight. I'm counting as the core group. Like six or eight, like... Serious people, which is a decent. And song. we could have easily absorbed our other smaller group if we wanted them. But. Right, <laughs> which sort of happened. Yeah. If and if they would have played nice. Yeah. They, if they could have just played nice. Um, that that's a whole another. That's a whole another episode. <laughs> a saga. That's a good way to put it. Yeah. Um, because it is a it is. The saga of a thorn in our side. Well, I should also throw in that uh, Dag is. Lord of the Rings based. It is a Lord of the... It's technically a Lord of the Rings. I don't think I knew that. Oh, no? A lot of people don't. A lot of people don't realize it. But Dag is a Lord of the Rings based game. Interesting. Uh, Dagoherum, which are what the players are technically called, I believe is the elvish name for warrior or something like that. Um, But yeah, a lot of people don't know that. But yeah, so it's a fantasy... Fantasy... uh, High... High fantasy, mid fantasy, something like that. So I there are mid fantasy. Um, and that brings me to the the next point: the uh, the new uh, the new unit. They're called Blood Pack, and so I like that name. Sorry, guys, I'm not too keen on it. <laughs> I, I, t- I told Lance already. Uh, I think there could have been a better name, but I think they already had like Blood something, so they're yeah. kind of already known as that. Because, like you said, the people that absorbed us were, they're veterans. Like, yeah. They're veterans in the game. They've been playing for years and years and years, and people know them. And one of the guys, were he was already sort of in our unit anyway, but he kind of drifted in between the two. Mm-hmm. Dave? Yeah. Um, he was in our unit just because he lived here, and it's, he, he needed someone to fight with. It was with. convenient. Yeah. Yeah. So... Uh, but yeah, the new unit, is Blood Pack, and they are, and uh, they're all non-human characters. Oh. Which, that, when I found that out, that was exciting. I was like, okay, you may have gotten my attention a little bit now. I was like, because I, I plan on going back once I get the hernery, hernia repaired. That was a given, because I've always wanted, like, it was always, I've always wanted to do it. So going back was obvious. But when I found out they were all non-humans, I was like, okay, that's pretty interesting. And then I find out that it's not just days are for fighting, nights are for partying. I'm like, well, like, because I went to Lance's birthday, and they are sitting there, we had, he had a bonfire, and I was listening to stories of the events, and I thought they, were, they would be talking about the on-field fighting. Right. Which they did. On-field fighting is a, definitely a big thing. It's the biggest part of the, the game. But I did not realize how important, like, the stuff that goes on at night is. And, like, other things during the day, I'm, I, I think. But, like, I didn't know that there was actual quests that were going on. That was my favorite. That's all the things that are exciting to me. All the quests and the politics and stuff like that. Yeah, That's all. Apparently there's not a lot of politics, but there are a lot. There's there questing. Be fun <laughs> and there's... Uh, like nightlife stuff that goes on. Yeah, in character, 
stuff. Right, and apparently yeah. some people in the group, the unit, are really, really into it. Some are just like, eh, all right, fine. You know, that's what the unit does. Apparently, whether when they go to events, apparently whether they're uh, the event is hosting quests or not, the unit uh, plans on doing some. That's cool. Like running their own, and now today, I believe today is my official day back because I was just added to the group on the group chat on Facebook. So Yay. today might be my <laughs> first official day back. So if I'm wrong on anything, yeah, sorry. Um, but uh, so I found out there's more for me to do. Um, they're, it's a lot more interesting because they are all non-humans, mostly monsters. There's one dwarf, uh, which is pretty interesting. Yeah. Uh, and my favorite thing to do for the game or anything else in life is crafting. Like I love to make things. You love Minecraft? No. <laughs> Fuck off with that shit. I don't play Minecraft. I can't. I just can't. I work all day. If you want to hear sorry, my rant, sorry, I triggered you. I'm sorry. If you want to hear my rant about Minecraft? Go back to an older episode. I'm uh, sure there's one on each one. Yeah, probably. But no, I like to make things. So you know, a lot of it is making props and making, eh, kind of making weapons. I'm a little over it, but that's all right. Uh, making costume pieces and stuff. So. And so we kind of got weapon smiths now, anyways. Yeah, like I can build. I can crank weapons out realistically. I can do it. I can get a lot of stuff done in just a couple hours, but I don't need weapons right now, which is great, because I can't yeah. fight. So, when Lance came over Friday, it was basically like uh, six or eight hours of, I don't know, yeah, of uh, character creation. Uh, that's was, always the most exciting part to me, like the backstory and all that and kind of stuff. That's what really pulled me back into it. And seeing what else I could do for the unit as a non non com is what it's called non combatant. So, you know, everyone's a non human. So I'm like, okay, there's there's an ogre and two half elves. I'm sorry. Wow. I hope they these two don't listen. Okay. Because uh, they're half orcs. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know if, if Lance hears that. He will stab me because he hates. I'll make sure he hears it. (laughs) Um, When I told him I was thinking about coming back because they're non-humans, he's like, "Don't you be a fucking elf! Don't you fucking do it!" (laughs) And I was like, "All right, fine, I won't." So I was like, "Well, half orc, that's cool, but you guys, there's two half orcs. Half orcs are a thing, especially if you play D and D. So like, that's cool, but I want to be something different. I was like, maybe something with horns." And we were brainstorming. I was like, dude, I got it. Because I don't also, I also don't want to paint myself, like, fully. Yeah. But I wouldn't mind, like, a little, like, tinting. Like, maybe with, like, some chalk or something. Just a little, little color. A little different color. And, like, ears and fangs or something. I was like, okay, what if I was half troll? And he was like, no, what kind of troll? Like, what if I was... Half World of Warcraft troll. Okay. So, what I'm thinking for the characters, I'm going to do a little... I'm going to do ears. I saw a way to make tusks. Like, that form to your own teeth. And build tusks. and A little bit of blue. And, uh... Yeah, so... I've got a whole backstory... Yeah. About the character and which I think we can say for another episode. Yeah. Like characters and stuff if that's because yeah, we haven't talked about Universal yet. Yeah. But this will We'll talk more about the LARP stuff when we get Lance and Wes and yeah. everybody on the when, show. When we can get other Be a LARPers. full LARP episode. Hopefully that'll happen sooner than later. It Whatever. should. So so uh <laughs> we have a guest on the show. You're gonna have to move closer. It's, it's, you're too if, far away over there. Anyone, yeah. If, if you want to stop sitting over there texting shit. I'm not texting shit. I'm sending pictures to Kim. Who's also here, but probably won't speak. 
Why not? There was a head nod. She, I don't know. She just doesn't want to be on the podcast. Thinks it's going to take her soul or something. Or she just, I don't know. She can't speak very well, so she doesn't want anybody to hear her (laughs) impediments. Brian just tried to speak and it didn't come out right. (laughs) No, it did. That's usually what happens to him. (laughs) Nothing comes out right. (laughs) Why don't you want to be on the podcast? All right. That's why. (laughs) So you guys went to Universal yesterday. Oh my God, it was awesome. Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. So what was that like? Well, like I mentioned, we have uh, annual passes. So this was our first time going. And it was kind of like, hey, let's just go now. And, uh, you know, we really didn't have a plan. Right. Which, it's expensive. Oh, well, yeah. It's I, very expensive. Did you go to an Island of Adventure or Universal proper? Well, before we even do that... Um, we spent we already spent like forty dollars before we got to the gates. On what? Twenty to park. Right. And was it seventeen because we forgot our sunscreen? Yeah, and Riley's pale Good skin, Lord. so like I was not about to risk that because she already had a wicked sunburn. From all her. three of our fair skin. We yeah. All, <laughs> it's obvious that we're Irish. Hell no, sunburn. So yeah, thirteen dollars for a can of spray on sunscreen. 17. Good Lord. 17. Don't downplay it. It was 17. But, so yeah. So we go and... Uh, and it was only $20 to park for the first time for any one of you listeners that want to get an annual pass. So it's not that bad. Uh, so, and then we have our printouts and we have to get our pass because it's a card. Like, uh, so we go and someone just decides to jump in line. Well, because you are slower than molasses, so I was done waiting for you. Because we did not have a plan. I was like, oh, we're just going to go. And just do whatever. And I was like, we should ask this guy here, you know, is this the line we need to be in? Because this right. line was very long. And she's like, no, just get in line. Hurry up. I'm like, All right, fine. So I walk back because I'm like, wait a minute, maybe I'm being stupid. So, yeah, I was being stupid, by the way. So I actually unhooked the chain thing that, like, keeps you guys in line, <laughs> and I stepped out, and I went to this guy, who is a wizard, by the way, a wizard. So I asked this very, very nice gentleman, I said, excuse me, um, is this a line that we, because it's a very, it was a long line, like, I did not want to wait in this line. So I was like, is there a place, like, a majestic place that I can go and get my annual pass without having to wait in this horrific line? Sure, he said. There sure is. It's called group sales. So here's a tip for all of you that need to get an annual pass. Go to group sales. It is at the exit of Islands of Adventure. <laughs> I went up there, I, and there were two people in line. Yeah. Not kidding. Two people. We went from about an hour line to two people. To five Jeez. minutes. It was five minutes that we got our passes. I, I like to think that you were like... You unclicked the chain and went, fuck you, to everybody in that line. And then turned to that guy and went, excuse me, sir. (laughs) Essentially. Essentially, that's how it went. And then I had to get out with a stroller. And by this point, there were plenty of people behind us. So we unclipped it again and just left. (laughs) Now, we didn't have to cross. We had to go all the way to the other park. Look back and there's a sea of people following you. (laughs) Just like, where where are they going? They Um, know what's up. So, because we were going to go, my, any semblance of a plan I had was go to Diagon Alley and Universal and ride over on the Hogwarts Express. Make sure you say it right or it'll take you somewhere horrible. Like um, like in the movie. But I was like, I don't really want to go back just to ride back over. Oh. So I was like, let's just go into Islands Islands of Adventure. And um, so we just went in and we're like, okay, well we want to go to Harry Potter. That's why we're here, really. So... And I've been there before, but it's been like 10 years. So I'm like, all right, I know we need to go right. Have and you been to the Harry Potter thing yet? I've been to the original. I've never been to Diagon Alley. Okay. So I've never ridden the Hogwarts Express. Um, and Islands of Adventure was pretty much, it's pretty similar to the way it was last time I was there. It was amazing. It is incredible. Was Terminator still there? Uh, no, I think it's closed. Man. I think they closed it like two weeks ago. I want to know what's going in. Because I've, I've done Terminator. I'm glad so I got to cool. do it once. I used to go all the time when there was Terminator and Jaws. Written and Jaws a handful of times. King Kong. Never got to do King Kong. Uh, I went to Jaws once for Grad Bash. There was like an earthquake ride. Yeah, yeah. That's gone now, right? I think that's the Jimmy That was the Fallon? disaster ride. 
He, the disaster ride. Is it? No, I don't think it's Jimmy Fallon. No? I don't think that's the same spot. It might not be. I could be wrong, though. Jimmy Fallon ride is probably pretty cool. I don't get it. I don't, I don't know why either, but it, it's probably fun. Like, the name and, like, the idea just sounds like what it's was the name? really dumb. Jimmy Fallon's Race Through New York. Huh. It's like, yeah? Why? It's just because it's a universal property. I'm sure it's great. I've heard yeah. it's great. I mean, I'm pretty sure that show gets massive amounts of numbers. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Which is why. Yeah. And then there's and, a merch shop. That's why. Yeah, I saw plenty <laughs> of people with Jimmy Fallon shirts. Yeah. Like, I don't get it. Like, I like Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. I don't watch the show because I don't have cable, but I would watch it. I watch clips on YouTube. I like his clips, yeah. But, and I'm not going to not go on the ride, but it just seems like a weird It's weird concept. because it's like, it's always a movie or a TV show and you're going on this crazy, like, immersive experience. And then it's like, Jimmy Fallon, talk show. <laughs> Late night talk show. It's like, like what? Right. Race through New York? Well, okay. Hey, yeah, it's sure. whatever. So, but I, I mean, I plan on going on it. We didn't get to, because we, we got to do so little, but we did so much. But... So we go to the, the Seuss Land. You should explain first. that because that makes no sense to anybody but us. <laughs> I will. That's what the rest of the show is for. So we go to Seuss Land. And with a four year old, you're going to be there for a little bit. We go on the carousel. I forgot there was a carousel. It was amazing. I, Seuss Land, worth it. Worth any money you pay for annual passes. Just Seuss Land. Where, it was like living in a storybook. It was great. Where is the Curious George area? Is that Universal? I think it's Universal. I think it's over by E.T. There's yes, it is. So it's a water park. Not a water park. We were there all it's day and we like saw a wet like park. nothing. Yes. Okay. Because there's I like know that. there's traps like you can fill up a water planter and dump water on people. Ah. There's a, a giant bucket you shoot like stationary water guns at and it dumps onto the side that loses because oh, it's like okay. a town square and the bucket's in the middle. No, the thing that you shoot is in the middle and there's right. buckets over either side. Whoever loses gets a bucket dumped on them. Okay. And then there's a dry off area where it's just Nerf stuff. And like jungle, not jungle gym, but right. like a, like an, I yeah. want to say an adult jungle gym. Yeah, I know what you're, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, there's just Nerf ball things everywhere and you shoot each other with turrets and it's amazing. Well, cool. Where did we see the water? It, it's by, um. What water? Because you were like, Riley, do you want to go in the water? And I said, no, it's going to get too cold. It's by Woody oh, no, the Woodpecker. Was, I yeah, it yeah was that's water. by E.T. Okay. Oh, so, yeah, like, because um, we just canceled our Bush Gardens uh, passes. And Bush Gardens has the big has a big play place too now, doesn't Sesame it? Sesame Street. Yeah, Sesame Street. They have a um, a water area like that, but it doesn't sound nearly as cool. Well, there's like a, a, a play place area. Not a... Like a jungle kind of climbing area. Yeah, in Sesame Street, there is like a big. Oh, okay. Jungle-y... It wasn't Sesame Street when I went. Okay, well, it was just like nets. a jungle area. There's like yeah. nets up in the sky that Riley right. will not go near. Can adults go on that? Yes. I don't want to go in that. It's, it was. <laughs> Someone's I don't shaking like their heights. head, but they can. Yeah. Adults of this size. Uh. Well, yeah, yeah, speak up, speak up. There's probably a weight limit. Probably. Oh, Kim's talking. <laughs> I, I wouldn't push it. I wouldn't go on it, but. But uh, I Jurassic Park on. has the same thing. Yeah, but the... And, of course, me, I, I have an obsession with Facebook groups. So the, yes, second, do. the second we got our passes, I joined two different uh, annual pass holder groups Don't on Facebook. Don't be a pass hole. Yeah, Stole your joke. <laughs> one, of them, one of them says they don't allow pass holes. I was like, <laughs> that's funny. But someone, someone posted a little uh, clip, a little video clip. And they're like, look what I found in Jurassic Park. I had no idea this was here. And it's like, a, it's that jungle gym type thing. Okay. In Jurassic Park. And then someone was like, I knew it was there, but can adults go on it? And someone else posted a picture and they're like, yeah, we go on it once a week. And they were standing there. I think they were drinking, standing on like the net walkway. <laughs> and it's like, so I might try going in there and yeah. push it a little bit. But... I mean, I'm sure it's made to hold a lot of weight. Didn't you go in the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids one? That's in yeah, but that wasn't yeah. really Hollywood Studios. Yeah, I know, Disney. but but it's a play area. Oh yeah, I took Riley up there. She loved the when she was what was she like two? I think so. Yeah, we she went just with her. Two. Yeah, no, that's what I'm oh, saying. Oh yeah, 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 but it was full size for us. Adults. Two didn't. Yeah, I you thought your leg off. was broken. That was Disney. 
but we didn't go to oh. Hollywood. No, my leg was broken when we. It wasn't broken. It, well, it was broken, but it was in the walking. No, yeah. it wasn't. It wasn't in the walking cast yet. Oh, that's mm. right. No, I was mad got, because I didn't take it off yet. Yeah. Um, that's when we went on that vacation, but it was just. Wasn't it just us? Yeah, just yeah. us with Riley. No, Cece and Dennis were there, but I think we split up. Yeah, we split. Yeah, oh, they that's didn't right. Hang out with us much, oh, because we went on Star Wars. That's right. All right. And you got sick. And then we went to. Uh, <laughs> um, what is it? That's <laughs> great for the audio listeners. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Snap, <laughs> Oh what god, was that the spike? Yep. Wow. I will be I will, oh, yeah. that's okay. That, that's you can gonna edit that edit. out, right? Yeah. I'll right, try. So that that edit was some loud that, that was right in my ear. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was right in your ear this. too if we didn't get it edited out. That's all just exit to Yeah. <laughs> Just snap. <laughs> yeah, Riley just kept saying though. She's like, because she, we were going to Universal. She's, like, I want the dog to sniff me. I want the dog to, sniff. and I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. Because <laughs> apparently, in one of the parts in don't the say island, that around other adults. Yeah. <laughs> and apparently, in the I Shrunk the Kids section, like, because you know everything's bigger in there. I guess there's like a, huh. there's a, a dog, dog nose. nose, and it like it blows air out at you oh, and it sniffs funny. you. It's cute. And she's like, I just want the dog to sniff me. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you're crazy, kid. <laughs> oh, that water part that I, I thought, it was, yeah. it's not, it wasn't water. It was the one fish, two fish ride. Oh, there's a little fountain there. Isn't yeah, there? and I thought, okay. I was thinking, oh, that must be a water park. But it was just, the, she one loved fish. the train in the sky. I didn't. The I don't s- like heights, but. Uh, sky high train ride or something. Mm-hmm. Um, with the star bellies in Seuss Landing. Huh. It. It's pretty high. E.T. is still there, right? Yes. And apparently, E.T.'s never going anywhere. Apparently, E.T. is never going anywhere because of the contract with it. Really? Yeah, apparently it is, like, locked in for It should eternity. be. That's awesome. That's, like, I've I remember on going on it, yeah. and it's like, this is kind of dated. Right. But it's fun. But it's so great. It's yes. great. It's, I'm surprised Jaws is gone, but I, that Men is Men in Black great. was great. We took yep. Riley on it. Yep. And we haven't got there yet. You're skipping ahead. I'm sorry. I'll <laughs> stop. My All right. God. So we did Seuss everything. Uh, we did not go into the uh, the new cotton candy place that opened. It just opened a few weeks ago. It's uh, Kim loves cotton candy. Oh, <laughs> it's not low carb. Oh, just you wait. You can get a cotton. You can get cotton candy wrapped around uh, a, one of the spiral lollipops. Yeah. Instead of yeah, instead of the paper. Yeah. So and yeah, it's they. You pick your flavor of cotton candy. And they have a, ha- a handful of different flavors. You, I think you can get it three different sizes. And, yeah, you can either get it on a paper cone or one of those giant spiral lollipops, which is absolutely ridiculous. And then you can get little, you can get candy mixed into it. Like, you can get, like, mini M&Ms good in your God. cotton candy or sprinkles. Or, Nerds would be good. <laughs> oh, yeah. That'd be I, awesome. That would be cool if they had that. I have, I'd be surprised if they didn't. Yeah. But yeah it's That's a new, diabetes on a stick. Yep. Yep. Just the one time, though. <laughs> and it's, uh, yeah, it's a cool little little cotton candy shop. That's crazy. Yeah, I had no idea until I saw it in the pass holder group. Like, mm-hmm. I saw the sign for, I think it's called, like, Honk Honkers or something like that. Because <laughs> it's the Seuss Land. Yeah. Um, Have you seen Seuss Land when it's Christmas? Yeah, it's Christmas. Yeah. It's oh, like is it Christmas now? Okay. Yeah, Grinchmas. I didn't yeah, know when they started that. We didn't do that. the Grinchmas show. Um, I don't even know if you knew that. We just didn't have time. We went because yeah. we went at noon. So what was after Seuss? All right, so we go in the after Seuss. <laughs> um, and I forgot that they did not take all of the Lost Continent out. What so was the Lost Continent? Poseidon's Adventure or Poseidon's Fury, uh, which is like a like a special effects show kind of thing. Okay. Uh, there's Sinbad's Voyage, which is oh I remember show. that, and then there's. I think there's just the fountain, like the fountain that talks. Okay, yes, and I remember that. I don't remember Poseidon's thing. Mythos, I think is the name of the restaurant, that I've heard is supposed to be the best restaurant in any theme park. Okay. Um, kind of a cool little, just lost continent. And it was, I was really uh, happy. As you walk past Poseidon's Adventure, there was probably... 30, 40, maybe 50 foot. I don't know. I'm bad at size. Huge stone arm holding a trident sticking out of the ground. I remember this, yeah. And I'm like, Riley, look. And uh, I don't know if we asked. I don't remember. But she she thought it was Thor. She's like, oh, it's Thor. 
It's like, oh, close. It's Poseidon. You'll see it later. No, Disney will hear you. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's okay, because Mar- there's still Marvel Island. Yeah, which for now. I told her there's a Spider-Man ride. She wants to do the Spider-Man ride so bad. We just never got there. Yeah. So much stuff we didn't get to do. If you ever get a one-day ticket, you're, you're screwing yourself over. Big time. So then we finally get to the entrance to Hogsmeade. And I'm like, bam, look, there it is. Which is the town from Harry Potter. Right. We're outside of Hogwarts. Right. That's where... Uh, that's where the students get to go on like their little vacations. That that was before Hogwarts, right? Like when they built the Harry Potter world. Then they built Hogsmeade first. Before Hogwarts, it was all yeah. one thing. It's all one. Oh, okay. Um, so you go in. Uh, it's just majestic. Yeah. The Hogwarts Express is there. That's not well. Actually, now the ride, the Hogwarts Express. The station is right outside because that's actually where the uh, the three, train actually takes you. The train doesn't take you to Hogwarts. Three and in, three quarters. Huh? Is that, is that what the station is? Three and three quarters or something? What? Nine and three quarters. Nine and three Get three out quarters? of here, you okay. bubble. <laughs> I, and actually, it's, it's King's Cross Station right. that brings you. And then the train doesn't actually go all the way to Hogwarts. It actually takes you to that town, Hogsmeade. Question. Yes. Is there a station nine and one quarters? You're not I, funny, Jacob. I, I, I know, I'm serious. Like, is there... I don't know. I are don't, there different trains that take you to different places? No, I don't know. No. I, don't, I don't know, there, but that's not a terrible question. There are different magical schools of wizardry. That's all I'm saying. But, I mean, King, I think there's just the one at King's Cross Station. Okay. That we know of. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Maybe yeah, that's it'd be cool in. if they made, like, a Harry Potter universe, like, extension of... Well, that's Hogwarts. what they're doing with uh, Fantastic Beasts and yeah. Where to Find Them. Right. So maybe he's going to go on, you know... Station nine and one quarters, and it takes you to some different place. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, you could be right. Now, um, <clears throat> but yeah, so the station well, it's not really this, it's like the facade for the station. Then you have to go through the line to get to the train, it's outside. But then when you walk into the Hogsmeade village, it's um, yeah, they've got the, the train that's I don't think it's full size, but it's pretty big. And it's got all the shops along the side. It's got, like, Zonko's Joke Shop, Honey Dukes. Um, joke Shop is uh, the Weasley Shop? Nope, this is another one. Um, and it's it's just got a bunch of sh- Some shops you can go in, mm-hmm. like Honey Dukes. I think you can go into the Joke Shop, too. Zonko's. And then there's some shops you can't go into. Like Zonko's there. must be what inspired the Weasleys. It is. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then there's... Uh, some shops you can't go into, like, uh, I can't remember all of the names, but, like, the, the shop with clothing, uh, like, the dress, like, tailor shop you can't go into, uh, like, the... For now. Right, yeah. They may change all that stuff. They, that's probably why they're closed, so they can eventually decide to put something in there. Well, and the other thing, too, is if you get a... In those shops that you can't really go into, and some of them you can... In the windows, they have things that are, like, moving already. Like, you'll see, like, a mandrake in one of the windows, and it's sitting there moving and making sounds. Mm-hmm. But if you get the special wands... Right. There are little... I don't know if you noticed this uh, while we were walking through, but there are little metal, like, inlaid signs on the ground. Yeah, I saw that. If you go up to them, there are certain wand movements you can make to make things in the windows do different things. I guess it's pretty difficult to do, though. I Yeah, from what we, I could tell... We the, watched them try, so... Yeah. All, the, all the kids were having a hard time. That sucks. They should make that easier. Yeah, and I don't know why. And, like, some places I saw, like, people who work there helping. I think yeah. they know. Um, but it's still kind of a cool thing, especially if you can do it right. Um, and then there's a Three Broomsticks restaurant, like, from the movie. Awesome food. Uh, which we ate at. I've never been inside. And we had to wait. We had to wait outside, in line, to go eat. <laughs> I mean, the line for butterbeer was super long outside. I bet. How much was the thing of butterbeer? How much was it, babe? Because I'm broke. So Let me just pay. tell you that two of them were 15. I'm pretty sure it was like seven bucks. Seven That's bucks. not yeah, seven terrible. 50. And uh, they were the frozen They ones. were not that big. And yeah. it was yeah. a, she said. It was a. N- <laughs> really, Kim? That's all you're going to contribute here? It's a nice size cup. It, it wasn't the souvenir cup. 
But it's it's frozen butterbeer, and you cannot get it anywhere else in the world. I will you say it's worth it. No, he got it bottled, and it wasn't actual butterbeer. Oh, really? Yeah, there's another company. It's Flying Cauldrons something. Butterscotch something. Okay, I'm sorry to break off. I, I have to ask you a question, something yeah. I heard today. It's a joke that Harry doesn't know the difference between his best friend and his pot, because they're both <laughs> cauldron. Called Ron. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, what funny. a bad That's a good joke. one. <laughs> that is funny. Um, okay, and then you've got the, the owl post, which was pretty cool. I've never got that to actually neat. sit in the owl post because it's oh, so it's packed. packed. Yeah. What is so that? packed. It's just a little sitting area. It's outside one of the shops you can go in. I think it's outside of Ollivander's. It's, no. no, Ollivander's is further up. It's right outside Three Broomsticks, though. Yeah, across from Three Broomsticks. Like, in between Three Broomsticks the, and the Butterbeer cart, and then it's the Owl Post. And there's just a bunch of seats. And it's cool cause you, if you can get in there and sit down, drink your Butterbeer, and you look up, and there's a bunch of... It's an owlery. Oh, there's a bunch of owls up in the rafters. Not real ones. No. Okay. Because that would get messy. But it looks like they're real, and they, they move, and they're, they're animatronic. Jess um, wants to love that. Which ones? The owls. The owl, owls. Oh my god, I love owls. I saw the barn owl up there. Barn owls are my favorite. I saw the barn owl up there. Um, it's just a cool little place to sit and just hang out. Um, and it's definitely worth going into the bathrooms. Okay. They weren't that great. Uh, there's moaning. You get. You can hear moaning Myrtle in the bathrooms. She's supposed to be at Hogwarts though. It's you close. Are in... You're not at Hogwarts. Hogsmeade, sorry. But I mean, it's it's close. Okay. Um, she was visiting. Okay. And she goes. Can you to... stand in a toilet and it takes you somewhere? Uh, no, but <laughs> bullshit. Phone booth. But if you go when you leave um, Diagon Alley on the other side, when you're in Universal, it brings you out onto the streets of London, and there's a phone booth. If you go in the phone booth, and you dial six four. It's six two four four six two something like that. It's it spell it's, it spells magic if you okay. see. and luckily it's on the it's a rotary sure. phone so it's on the rotor if you forget if you pick up the phone and you dial it it rings a couple times and then it puts you through to the Ministry of Magic. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and it doesn't. Is there a line for that? No, it doesn't okay. advertise that. Oh, it's okay. like a hidden thing that I found out watching YouTube videos. And how many kids walk by that and go, "What's up with that box with a phone in it?" Yeah, like <laughs> when we were, because people take pictures in there. Because a lot of people know what it is. It's the visitors' entrance to the ministry. Right. So a lot of people go take their pictures. So while we were leaving, the next people going in, we we're like, "Hey, don't forget, dial that number that's on there." And like at first, like when she told them, like it didn't look like they cared. But then I looked back and she was like, oh, thank you, thank you, we're, we're going to do that. <laughs> so, uh, also, just real quick while we're on the London street side, it's Grimmauld Place and 12 Grimmauld Places there. And, like, all the other ones are lit up with, like, Christmas lights and everything right now. No lights. No inside lights on. But every so often, uh, the bottom right window for 12 Grimmauld Place, which is oh, where Sirius you. Blacks live, um... You can see Creature, his house elf, open the drapes and look out every so often. That's cool. Pretty cool. Now, is Ron... Not Ron. His brothers. Are they, is are their shop there? They're in Diagon Alley, yes. It's okay. Because um, they're very, like, Willy Wonka type people. Yeah. That would be a really neat shop to go in. And I think you can go in there, but it was just so packed. Yeah. The dragon's there, right? Huh? Right, is the dragon above it? The dragon's above Gringotts, the one they escape oh, okay. on from Gringotts. That makes sense. And every 15 minutes it blows fire. Yeah, that's wild. So we, we got there and we were taking pictures and I was like, well, let's get in front of it. I remember when that when they built that mm -hmm. and like it opened, people were like, that's going to close in a few months because they can't keep it up. Because <laughs> ah. it's such a big animatronic and shooting fire and like, oh, apparently they, those people were wrong. <laughs> yeah. And luckily, when we were waiting, because we wanted to get a little video of it blowing fire, like I'm sure everyone does. Luckily, I heard someone behind us while we were waiting. He's like, we got about a minute 45. I and bet I you there's like, an app. Great. It's not on the Universal app. I think he was timing it. Could have been. Because it it's every 15 minutes. Yeah. 
And then he got down. He's like, okay, we only got about a minute left. And she had gone into one of the stores. I'm like, I got so distracted. They had Hermione's dress for children. I was like, well, she's about to miss it. (laughs) Not my fault. I want to go on the Gringotts ride so bad. I don't know. I couldn't tell you why. Gringotts is like one of the most fascinating parts of Harry Potter to me. Really? Just because of like the stuff that's in there. Oh, yeah. Is like and you, and that was one of my favorite parts of the movie, the second part of the movie that I had finally watched after forever. Nice was when they went to go get the sword, the cup, the chalice. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, From and just the Bell dragon Hanks. that was protecting it. Like that, that shit's so yep. cool to me. That's the dragon that's on top. Okay. Um, yeah, it's it's really really cool because there's like uh, uh, because before when it was just the Harry Potter world, the original, like. In between, like, Hogsmeade and the bathroom was the ATMs, and it says uh, Gringotts Automatic Teller Machine. Right. Which I was like, oh, cool, Gringotts. Now they have Gringotts the Ride. Yeah. And, uh, like, right outside Gringotts, there's this giant pillar with a, a golden goblin on it. And then there's another little, like, it's like a, sh- oh, it's a currency exchange. Okay. You can go in, and the goblin inside will, talks to the people. Like, uh, like it has conversations with people who go in. Huh. Like, you can ask it questions. That's cool. Yeah. I should, you know, now that I'm writing those stories again, I should really go back and read the way... Because that's one of my favorite things about Harry Potter, is places like Hogsmeade and where the Ministry of Magic... Is that Sirius Black's house? The one that like separate like becomes yeah. bigger or whatever, like and 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 Gringotts those places those locations are so fucking cool to me. Yeah, I just want to go back and read the way she described them and maybe help me describe right. my places. Yeah, or listen to the audiobook. Yeah, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm going through listening to the audiobooks. Get the Steve Fry audiobooks. The comedian. Yeah, I guess he is a comedian. Huh. Uh, don't get the Jim Dave or Jim Davis or Jim Dale, uh, right. whatever his name is. Fight me <laughs> if you don't if you don't agree. Why is that? I guess a lot of people like both of them. Like a lot of people are really into the Jim Dale or Jim Davis. I think is the Jim, Jim guy Dale. British. They both are. Yeah. Okay, but I hate the way he talks. You like, hate you, the way British people. You talk. know I hate. You know I hate <laughs> British accents. But he can't pronounce his R's. He pronounces them like I did as a kid. So he says, how we, all oh. the time. And I just, I can't. I can't. Damn. I can't. <laughs> so, if you disagree, fight me. <laughs> but, Jesus. And how can you not like the Stephen Fry version? Now, granted, the Stephen Fry version is what they got in the UK. Yeah. And we got the other guy over here. I can listen to Stephen Fry talk all day long. Yeah, like, he's great. He's Sherlock Holmes' brother. What? What does see, that mean? <laughs> did you ever see the uh, second Sherlock Holmes uh, with Robert Downey Jr.? Yeah, I guess a long time ago. Those are great movies. They are, yeah. Uh, he plays his, I think it's his brother. Oh, okay. I should watch those again. Mm-hmm. They're, they're good. I really like them. And Watson, Jude Law, is playing young Dumbledore in the right. new movie. When does that come out? In next fucking year. Jeez. We got a year. It it's, a, it's like back to waiting for the Harry Potter movies again. Yeah, <laughs> though at least those came out every year. Yeah, yeah, we've got like two years. It's ridiculous. It took a long time for me to watch all those movies. Me too. <laughs> yeah, it took me a long time because when they came out, I was in high school, and uh, maybe beginning of middle school when the book came out. But when the movies came out, I was in high school, and I was a hardcore like Lord of the Rings fan. Yeah, I was like, fuck Harry Potter, Lord yeah. of the Rings for life. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, can you imagine that? I don't know if you knew that, but I'm sitting here with a Deathly Hollows tattoo on my leg. Yeah. Like, now granted, the first tattoo I attempted to get, but they quoted me like $500. I was going to get the writing from the ring, Mm -hmm. because it's written on the inside and outside. I was going to get the inside wrapped around my left elbow, like right above the elbow, and the outside wrapped around the bottom of my left elbow. Right. Uh that was my first tattoo. But anyway, uh, so we did all the Harry Potter stuff we could. And we wanted to see the, the light show at Hogs, Hogwarts. And we didn't go any of the rides because uh, wait times were too long. 
we're gonna go back during the week. So. Yeah, when no one's there. Yeah. So we went. We spent some time in Jurassic Park. I finally yeah, got to on a Saturday. That was a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, we got to see a raptor hatch, That's which was cool. cool. I never got to do that. I never even knew there was a raptor encounter. Yeah. So I got my picture taken with a freaking velociraptor. Which is funny because I, I remember seeing that and being like, that's so stupid. And then when I saw you and Riley, and I was like, that's so cool. Yeah. She and must it's, have loved that. It. It's so different when there's little kids involved. Right, it is, too. Oh, it's so fun. Especially when she was talking about it earlier. Yeah. And like Dr. Seuss Land, I've been there a handful yeah. of times. It's like, eh, cool. Dr. Seuss Land's cool. But like when you go with a kid, it's like... They're having so much fun. Like, yeah. the carousel. Like, I'd, I'd never go on the carousel. The carousel was fun. Um, and we didn't eat there. Because I used to eat there all the time. The Circus McGurkis one. But, uh, then we went to... Yeah, we did some time in Jurassic Park. And, um... Then we just... Then we got on the Hogwarts Express. Rode back over to Universal. Did a couple things over there. And, uh, and I was... I was ready to go. Right, and, and I'm go ahead. And then we went over and we did uh, some stuff at Universal. We'll talk we'll talk more about Universal when we can spend more time there. So we only yeah. got to do Men in Black and Simpson stuff. Okay. So there's so much we missed. And you didn't even know Springfield was there. I had no idea Springfield <laughs> was there. I was so excited walking through there. Yeah, I'm excited to go to Springfield. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure we're gonna go at some point. Yeah, you guys gotta get past you gotta come with us. Something. So uh, that's it for this podcast, guys. Thank you for listening. You, you know that you can find this on YouTube. You can find it on iTunes. We're no longer on SoundCloud. You can also find it on FewTrueVillains.com. That's F-E-W-T-R-U-E-V-I-L-L-A-I-N-S.com. You can find me on Twitter at Best of the Realm. Facebook is Best of the Realm Gaming. YouTube is Best of the Realm. I got Twitch.tv slash Best of the Realm as well as Instagram. I'm uh, on Twitter at Brightman25 and Instagram Brightman1138. All right, thank you guys for listening. Uh, again, there's not going to be a future Heels podcast this week. Because we did it at the beginning. <laughs> we did. <laughs> Should I just clip out that five-minute video? Yeah, just, just put that five minutes <laughs> over there. All right, maybe I'll do that. Let's stop.